Check this out. I want to show you something really, really cool. Now, everyone knows about Cloud Code already, I assume at least. So Cloud Code now officially supports Windows and it's easy to install it by running npm install dash g at anthropic dash ai slash cloud dash code. Once we run this command in our Windows machine or uh, Linux, Unix, Mac OS, whatever, we can use Cloud Code. So if now I were to open the PowerShell shell terminal, you can see how beautiful it will be. I already installed Cloud Code, so I just need to type in Cloud, not like this, of course, rather to type in Cloud like this. Now, what I need to do is just to connect to my account and log in, actually, and that's it. We're in Cloud Code. Now, I actually wanted to show you something else. I wanted first to thank my community member, uh, Chaim, Chaim Abeles, Abeles, uh, for letting me know that Cloud actually now supports Windows without using WSL. Thank goodness. Um, and what I actually wanted to show you now is not just um, how to install uh, uh, Cloud Code on Windows machines. Rather, I wanted to see that in Cloud Code documentations, uh, we can see that under Cloud Code Overview, we have common workflows. And this is really interesting because on the right-hand side, you can actually see that we have many options to use Cloud Code, such as fix bugs, refactoring, work with tests, unit tests create PRs, handle documentations, work with images, and much more. Do you know you can use extended thinking, or you can even um, use, you can create your own custom slash commands. This is really, really neat. Um, and we also have this tree, uh, uh, tree work we can do. We can work like in parallel on certain branches on GitHub. And this is really nice because we have further actions we can take um, to make Cloud Code much more powerful. Now, if we will click also on MCP server, then we should know that we have command, we can have examples. And the important thing to keep in mind is that there, are, that there are actually with MCP a client and a server we can develop. But the coolest thing about using Cloud with MCP is not only MCP, by the way, we can also use GitHub uh, CLI and tell Cloud Code that it can use the GitHub uh, CLI and it will do really, really nice, really well um, connecting to your GitHub account. And the idea is that if we want to, com uh, to, uh, to communicate with an MCP server, let me bring this back up, then we can just type slash, let me try to zoom in a bit. If I were to type in slash and then MCP, you can see I can manage my MCP servers. Now, currently, you see that I have launched Cloud in my home directory, blah, 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 blah. I didn't set up any, any MCP servers in Cloud Call yet. So I just want you to see the options we have. We can type in slash and then within here, we can use the cloud doctor command to diagnose. Um, we can also use the help command or we can integrate to, to an IDE. We can also uh, use the init command slash init. And this actually makes cloud to uh, initialize a new product, uh, a new, sorry, a new project with code based documentation. And it's really, really nice. If I will create a new project, you can see it in practice. So let's. Let's do something else. Let me open a new tab. And down here, uh, let me see if I can go to documents. Let's say I'm in documents. Let's create a new directory and say test for YouTube. And I will CD into this folder. And now I will open Cloud Code from this folder. I will click yes. Sorry about that. And now I can just Type in init, and you can see that once I click init, something happens. Now, what happens? 
You can see Claude is saying, I'll analyze this code base and create a Claude MD file with the essential information for future instance of Claude, instances of Claude code. Now, I think that something that is a bit confusing is that we are working with a CLI. We are not working with an IDE, so we don't really see um, the project, all the folders, all the files that are being created. And this could be a bit a bit scary at first, but once you get a hang of it, you really can't use any IDE. You see that Claude does really well, so there is no reason whatsoever um, to go back to an IDE unless you have specific uh, action items or tasks you want to take. And anyway, this was a really short interview into Cloud Code on Windows. And also just to show you the documentation of Cloud Code in which you can actually use to see common workflows. And actually the documentation is quite good. And you have even uh, the advanced settings. If you scroll down, two important things to keep in mind is that you can you can actually see either the quick start to have great information. Now, the coolest thing I discovered today by mistake is we can, is that we can host uh, Cloud Code on AWS Bedrock on, or on uh, Google Cloud. Now, hosting on AWS Bedrock, I didn't work with uh, Google Cloud so much, actually, to be, to be honest. So I cannot say my opinion. what's my opinion on it. Um, but a cool thing is about Bedrock is that you can use it in a secure way. You can deploy Cloud Code on your, in your environment, which could be a private cloud, and you can actually configure Cloud Code to run on AWS uh, a Bedrock instance, and this could be really secure. So this means that the developers can use uh, Cloud Code in a secure environment, which is quite mind-blowing. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial. And I hope you will find it uh, useful. If so, I would highly appreciate the like, the share, the subscribe, etc. Thank you so much for your time.